Marcus said that this is a good time for me to maybe do some reading, oh. just for, just so you can see more of just how Robert Picton thinks and and the way that he thinks. Um, so, I got a hold of thank you to Anno and Brandon um, from the Reddit that helped me find this very rare book. Robert Picton, in his own words, very difficult to find. Published by Michael Childress, who's a fucking moron, <laughs> and I'm gonna put it. I mean, we've read a lot of difficult things to read on this show, and I have too, specifically with Scientology and with the alien shit. I would say this is one of the most taxing, worst written things I've ever read. It was pulled from Amazon by the Canadian government five days after it was published while Picton was in jail, hmm. and he wrote it. And I mean, this is this is what he sounds like. And it's called Picton in his own words. Yes. Okay. Picked and unpicked it. Picked and unpicked it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so he's talking about the, the Basically, what the book posits is that Gina did all the murders and he did nothing. Mm. Mm. And so this is a, an encounter he has with the sex worker at night. There I disperse from this specific area and feeling a whole lot better of the whole process. So I decided to stop at this convenience store that is just up from the Patricia Hastings, indicating that the site location is on the left-hand side where the store is facing onto Hastings Street. There I have bought myself a light snack, which involves a filled donut, one liter of 2% chocolate milk, and a packet of plain potato chips to munch on while I continue to overdrive my own tiredness so that I can proceed on driving homebound. But holding to my word en route, as planned with the support of speech, uh, uh, support of speech, uh, killing two birds with the sun, with the same stone, and being in Vancouver, which I am going on the on-site location where Miss George Gina Dickens works at the Shell Service Station, located on Junction of Powell Street. For I desperately like to talk to her in person, Gina oh! Houston. Over one hundred fifty thousand. We haven't even gotten to it. <laughs> so we haven't even gotten to it. So this is this is just one paragraph. There I continue driving down Powell Street in a line of forward motion with the traffic and down the road roughly about half a block ahead in the distance where I notice this poor girl hitchhiking off the sidewalk as this party continues walking backwards in the process while facing off the sidewalk her attention to the surroundings. There at the point in speech as things unfold before me while I never knew the situation of what was happening until she stumbled off the sidewalk and fell directly onto the roadway of Powell Street oh. which extended to the movement that was taking her directly into the path of my pickup truck. <sighs> immediately after these particular circumstances would I had immediately stopped with having alarming suspicion that something definitely happened to this particular lady with myself. Tendency taken while I secure the road roadway with my truck and put on my truck emergency four-way Fuck. flashers. Oh, right. That it. is... I, I, don't, I don't like picked it on picked it anymore. <laughs> and, and, this so is the, horrible. The whole time he's just... Covered. She now to update with this particular party in formal conversation where she has stated directly to me that she was extremely overtired and quite clumsily on my feet and connecting to the main reason, shy, that I have been partying for more than 30 hours non-stop in, in a without any sleep addition to this where this lady asked me directly if by and chance are you interested in having a date with me for I give good head by this particular remark indicating that this party deliberately thrown herself directly out of her fierce anger and disposition towards herself in front of a motorized vehicle while hoping that someone out there would feel sorry for her while she only there to arrange a formal date which again is pure evil behavior then he oh does my. he quotes <sighs> Romans oh okay all uh -huh. right so the whole time he's also drinking two percent chocolate milk <laughs> this is what's with the milk it's always with always the milk. with the milk always with these milk. guys yeah. all right and then he says that he was gonna donate a hundred dollars to her for her for herself then uh -huh. she ends up at the trailer she doesn't want she she slowly but surely invites him to sleep with him and he said well i guess i can give you a hundred dollars because i was gonna donate a hundred dollars to mm. you and um i never got to the murder <laughs> oh, right. Well, I think we're all dumber. Picked it on picked it. That was the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. Wow. That was the worst written thing I've ever heard. Very good. Very well read, though, Henry Zabrowski. I'll send it to you to read. 